Hey guys, I've done some coaching on Cassia recently and I do want to continue on the series with 100 to 0 combos and Cassia actually is one of the strongest ones that if you ever catch someone alone or out of position, you can really punish people in any of her builds as long as you have a couple of these talents. So the combo will look something like this. You start off with an ult, uh, an E, a Q, and then a, a, a trait and I'll, I'll go back through it a little bit slower. Um, and I'll explain it and it can be done much more efficiently, but you can hundred to zero just about any assassin or healer in the game If they are being a little overzealous and away from their team and in fact that Jaina um, was 2000 health and this combo actually does so much more damage than that. So I'm actually going to show you guys uh, The pieces of it So the pieces that I primarily use and as far as talents the only two talents I think you are required to have is surge of light and ball lightning and you don't even really need surge of light because most of the time this the ball didn't even bounce as many times as it could but surge of light adds a lot more burst and a lot more healing and you can stack it on anything it doesn't need to be heroes which is the cool part uh, but essentially this combo is pretty simple to do it just takes a lot of confidence to know when you can do it and it will also kill a lot of bruisers so if you catch people in the soul lane so for example i'll run cassia on dragonshire or braxis and i'll roam up to the soul lane and take out a bruiser for my team and that way we're able to take top lane and then also control bottom lane so if you ever have those situations just check this out this combo works like this you're going to fire off your R first. And the reason you're going to fire off your R first, I mean, you'll be mounted, um, but you'll fire off your R first. You want the ball to start bouncing, and then you're going to fire off your W to increase the damage of your ball and all of your other abilities. Then in order to stick on the enemy for a little bit longer, you're going to fire off your E, but you're not going to let it channel for the entire duration. And the reason why is because you don't want to be standing still. You want to be moving towards the enemy. So you'll be canceling this about halfway through and you'll be getting an auto attack, a Q and a trait. Assuming you can do everything correctly, it's a stupid amount of damage in a very short burst. So it's going to look something like this. Boom, and that's it right there. So again, I'm gonna turn off toggle cooldowns for a second so you can see that I didn't do any shenanigans, but it's about 3,000 damage. That kills bruisers, guys. Like that's an incredible amount of damage. Plus if you can combine that with one ally hero, it's insane. Uh, let me get away from this water elemental. Not to mention, it actually does a stupid amount of healing to you if you did end up picking up the Ring of Leech because you're going to be healing for 25% of that. So you get to also watch my health during this fight as well. So again, making sure that toggle cooldowns is off this time and I'll go through the combo one more time. And that's it right there you can even throw an extra auto attack or two 3195 damage and the actual full combo outside of the ball lightning itself which takes about five seconds to get full value um outside of ball lightning the entire combo is done in under two seconds because you're interrupting this, which is the longest portion of the combo, and you're also throwing off a Q and a trait, which are both instantaneous with an auto attack or two. You can also enhance your damage with charge strike. So there's a lot of heroes you can do so much damage to so fast. So flanking solo laners, this is an amazing combo to flank solo laners. It's an amazing combo to catch people that are a little overzealous in their pushing. Uh, a lot of times I'll pick Cassia up when I see a Zagara on the enemy team, not only because you're going to win every team fight, but it's very easy to 100 to 0 a Zagara because she has no escape and they do tend to over push. Um, it's just a matter of can you avoid the vision from her other abilities. So uh, feel free to check it out. Cassie works really well with a variety of blind heroes, but she also works well with any hero that can just keep her alive. Uh, I tend to pick her more against heavy frontline heroes where I can just pop charge strikes and melt down their entire team at the same time. Anywho, if you guys are interested in coaching and wondering where I'm seeing all of these and showing people these combos, feel free to check out my website. It is not paradox.com forward slash coaching where I do a wide variety of individual coaching and team coaching and whenever they pick up a hero i show them combos with the heroes that sometimes people have never seen before maybe give them builds that might be a little bit more impactful for them in their specific ranks or if they're trying to be on a team i'll show them how to play a little bit safer to be more competitive thank you guys for watching and feel free to check out my other videos